So I started with a used piece of a wooden cable reel or wire spool and I cleaned it really well. Then I took some Wise Owl Stain Eliminating White Primer and I covered the entire board. The brush is good because it helps get into the cracks or any chips in the wood, but a mini foam roller will also work. Now I gave this two coats of the primer, and these spools usually come in one piece, but you will have to um, take it apart. This is about 25 inches in diameter. And once that was dry, I took a foam roller and some Antique Villa Wise Owl paint, and I gave it two coats of the Antique Villa. All paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And once that was dry, I got this stencil from Studio R12. It's their Coffee House Clock Face, and it's 24 inches in diameter, and it comes in two pieces. So I just laid the stencil down, and I just measured to get the placement of where I wanted the stencil. And using some blue painter's tape, I taped down the top half of the stencil. I grabbed some black Wise Owl paint and I took a foam roller and an extra paper plate and I'm going to load the paint onto my roller and then unload the paint onto a separate paper plate. And you want your roller nice and dry and then you're just going to lightly roll over the stencil. You want to make sure you're not using too much paint or that's when you get bleeding under your stencil. So once it was covered, I removed it. And I always keep Q-tips in a wet cloth or baby wipe nearby just in case there is any bleeding and it's something you feel like you can save. And then I took my second half of my clock stencil and lined the nine and three up and took more painter's tape and taped that stencil down. And then I took more black paint and just rolled the rest of the stencil. Now once that was fully dry, I took a 220 grit sandpaper and just gave it a nice sanding. Now you can really sand it as much or as little as you'd like and the sanding helps smooth out the paint and take away any imperfections in the stencil. And then I took some Wise Owl matte varnish and a Gen foam brush and I just went over the top of the board with the varnish. And you don't have to use varnish, you could also use the furniture salve as a top coat. And then I got this DIY clock kit off of Amazon. It was about $13 and it came with two different style clock hands. And then this piece I believe is called the clock movement or motor. And this was 3.9 inches in diameter. And that's going to go right into the center hole. And then you're just going to put your clock hands on. And there you go. Now you have this easy DIY industrial farmhouse clock and we put some heavy duty hangers on the back and i'm really happy with how this came out i'm going to be making a second one so we each have our own guys thank you so much for watching paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com and don't forget you can check out some of our other tutorials over on our youtube or webpage have a great day